Hello everybody and on this episode we'll be talking about the 1967 Dodge Dart GT that my grandfather bought brand new in 1967 for my grandmother Doreen. So stay tuned, stick around, let's get into it. another episode of Live or Die Cast. I'm your host, Dirty Murray. As always, I want to thank each and every single one of you for tuning in, commenting, and interacting with Live or Die Cast. Yes, this is a Die Cast channel, and I usually talk about Die Cast. As you can see, my collection has shifted. Uh, my collection is shifting toward Dodge and Honda. I've been selling off all my super treasure hunts, regular treasure hunts, chase cars, and you all know that I've been using that money to help build a 1967 Dodge Dart GT that was my Grandma Doreen's first car. I'm stoked about it. It's been going good. I wanted to do a little video, keep you guys in the loop. What's going on? I haven't done a lot of footage out at the shop. I'm getting ready to start doing that, and I'm getting ready to update you all on what is going on. But first, I want to talk about a couple of wheel swaps that I've done. The first one, the little black Honda Civic SI. We put some four spokes on it, chrome. Did some detail work underneath with a chrome pipe on it, exhaust tip. I think it turned out pretty slick. And then doing the black one, I also wanted to do the blue one. So there's the other Honda Civic SI color variation. Sorry about the lighting, these reflector protector cases are kind of reflective, but you all get the idea. I think these little Hondas did the same thing. Little details on the bottom, chrome exhaust tip. They've got the details in the rear. And I also did the chrome intercooler in the front on both of them, as you can see there. So I think those turned out pretty cool. And I will add those to the collection. Yes, that's right. My collection is shit. Did you all know that I am a super treasure hunt, treasure hunt, chase fanatic? And I still am. I will be looking for those still, just not every day. I don't have as much time to do it anymore. Um, I'm starting on the, the restoration of the Dodge Dart. Um, I've got some exciting news to share. I met a pretty young lady that I've been sharing some time with, and she is something special. Um, I hope to introduce her to you all at some point, but right now we're still early on. I'm keeping my fingers crossed, hoping that everything goes good. Um, I, you know, I always say it's just like Hot Wheels hunting, timing, 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 timing is everything. This lady came into my life at a time, you know, where, where I was down and she's helped pick me up and in a short period of time. So I'm feeling good. Things are looking good. I've got the dark going, I'm trying to get my son into public schools this spring. Um, I've met a pretty, pretty young lady. Um, things are looking up. So, let's get to it. The Dodge Dart. This is pretty cool. I found this sitting on an intake on the shelf at my uncle's place yesterday. This is the original air cleaner that came on the 67 Dodge Dart 273 four barrel. 273 charger. It says four barrel right here. You know, the carburetor is a four barrel carburetor. And there it is. I brought it home. This thing had 30 plus years of dust that had been sitting on the shelf. I brought it home, cleaned it up, and it turned out great. I, I was going to get a new one of these, but I think I'm going to leave it. I like that. The story, you know, anyone can go buy a new one. And yeah, it will look good. It's going to look pretty. Of course it will. It's brand new. It should, right? I can't go find another one of these. I can't go to the store and buy a 30 plus year old, you know, Charger 273 badge. So I think I'll keep this one. 
Um, update on the dark. So I've got the front grill, headlight bezels out. I've got the headlights out. I was able to get the paint, the engine bay clean, degreased, sanded, and painted. Um, we did go with black. I'll get some pictures, try to, try to show those. Um, I really don't want to start taking a lot of video footage until I get the car moving. Oops, I just got the hiccup. Sorry. So this car was parked in this garage 33 years ago. The engine was taken out, and that's where it's set. Um, my uncle over-revved it. He revved it to 7,200 RPMs and broke a push rod, and I think he flat-spotted the camshaft. So um, I've talked to the engine builder. In two weeks, we get to take the engine, the heads, all the engine components, oil pan, intake, to the engine builder, he's going to dump tank everything, clean everything up, hone the cylinder walls, uh, see what we're at. If we need to do some boring, we'll do that. Increase the piston size. Um, I am going to put a bump stick in it, uh, which means a radical camshaft. Um, I do want some hackety hack when I'm sitting at the stoplight. Uh, we'll be running a 4,000 stall converter in the torque flight uh, transmission and a uh, full set of 489 gears in the eight and three quarter rear end. So this thing should be no slouch off the line, stoplight to stoplight. It should be a fun little toy to play with. And my son and I are looking forward to it. Um, my uncle is starting to kind of get, get into it too. You know, he, he didn't show much, much interest at first. Now things are kind of rolling. Um, we've got the car sitting on jack stands. All the wheels and tires are off of it. Um, I've, Sent the wheels to the sandblaster. I got those back, refinished them myself, cleaned up all the center caps, beauty rings. Keep in mind, all the stuff that I'm using is the original stuff. I'm just cleaning it up. Um, so, well, the wheels aren't original. They changed the wheels, I think, four or five years after they got the car. They originally bought it with hubcaps. But the Mopar rallies are, you know, several years old. None of this stuff is new. I'm cleaning it up um, and trying to make it look the best I can to bring the dart together. Um, so where was I? <clears throat> I've got the engine bay almost complete and done, ready, you know, ready to set the engine in. <clears throat> um, the engine's going to be going to the engine builder in a couple of weeks. I've got a guy who's going to do all my mechanical work, all my polyurethane bushings in the front, um, inner, outer tie rods, upper, lower ball joint, control arm bushings. Every bushing in the front end of this thing is going to be replaced. We're going to do a front disc brake conversion in the front. Um, I did get some new tires for the rear. Rear, we're going to run some uh, 50, believe they're 50 series, no, 60 series in the rear. Uh, they'd be a little wider. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do on the front yet. I'm just going to put some, just some regular 14 inch tires on there so I can get it rolling around, get it in and out of the shop. Um, and all that good stuff. Once I get the engine set in, get the ride height figured out, then I'll take it to the tire shop. I've got a buddy there who said we can throw on 15 different sizes if we want to. I think there's only four uh, that we're going to try. But um, and he said we'll put them on until you you know until you figure out what you want, and we'll go from there. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm getting ready to get started on the interior. I'm actually going this afternoon to pick up a set of modern uh, bucket seats for it. Um, that I'll have reupholstered to match you know, the original uh, interior. Uh, I'm gonna get some carpet ordered for it, get the interior out, get it all clean, sanded, painted on the inside, um, take the center console out, it's chrome, I wanna take it out, polish it up, clean it all up, paint anything I need to before I put it back in with the new carpet, put the seats in, and then put the new front seats in. It's gonna make a world of difference on the interior of this car, you guys. So. I've got some, some exciting stuff coming that I'm going to be, you know, putting up some videos on. Um, we'll be filming the first time the car has moved in 30 plus years. Uh, I'm waiting to get the tires and wheels for that. Like I said, it is sitting on jack stands at the moment. I went out yesterday. Um, my nephew helped me. We, we cleaned up the valve covers, got those sanded down, uh, painted um, the rear drum brake covers, got those sanded down, cleaned up and painted. So progress is moving along. Um, I hope that you guys uh, can catch a catch something from this that that um, interests you and you follow along the journey. This thing is going to be cool. Um, you get to see where it starts and hopefully you get to see where it ends. So 
Again, as always, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for, for hanging around, listening to me, smack my gums back and forth. Um, and I hope you enjoy this journey as much as I do. As always, this has been Live or Die Cast. Remember, everybody, friendliness is free. We all have a purpose. I'm out. Peace.